Hi guys, welcome back to my channel English in a Bling and today I'm going to talk about past tense. Uh, well, not really. I've already, you know, told you how to use your past tense. So what is it that I'm going to do today? Hmm. Well, you know, I have noticed that some of my students, you know, when they are using their past tense, they're often confused. All right. And they're not forming it correctly. And they are making certain mistakes, which are actually very common. Okay. So today I'm going to be looking at some common mistakes that people make when they are using their past tenses. Okay. And I'll, I'll give you an example sentence like the mistake that you are making and then how to correct it. And then I'm also going to give you like, what is the reason? Okay. So why do you have to correct it? What's wrong? All right. So if you're making those mistakes, no more mistakes okay and no more excuses that i don't know i mean why 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 i shouldn't write that i mean i don't know because now you will have the answer okay so then you cannot make any excuse all right so so to start with let's say you know i have noticed that lots of lots of you actually say that uh, when you want to talk about like you know when you were working somewhere so then you say oh i was work in london Okay, when you want to talk about uh, a time that you worked in a certain place. So, this is not right. So, the correct sentence would be, I worked in London. Okay, and why, can it, why can't you say, I was work? When you are using, you know, like a positive sentence in your past tense, a helping verb such as was or did, it is not used. Okay, so that's why you cannot say I was work in London. Rather, you will say I worked in London. Okay, so you always, uh, if you're using um, a regular word, so just add ed. Otherwise, I've already made a lesson on how do irregular ver verbs uh, they work because they, they have their own pattern and you just have to remember that. Okay, so that was your first mistake. All right, so then moving on, when, when people, you know, they make questions in past tense. So, you know, they just ask, okay, he worked in London. So, you know, just by maybe their intonation and uh, even when you are, you know, when you are speaking, sometimes it might make sense. People uh, may understand because of your intonation that it's a question. But when you're writing, he worked in London and question mark, it's not a question. That's not how you ask question with your past tense. You say, did he work in London? Okay, so that's how. So the helping verb did is used in past simple questions. Okay, so you use your did if you're asking question in your past. Did. Okay, then moving on. Uh, there's another way like people ask, uh, worked he in London? Okay, so again, this is not right either. Worked he in London? Uh, uh, uh. So like I said, when you are making questions in your past simple, you need your helping verb did okay so just like before did he work in london or uh, all right again another common mistake now when when people are forming questions uh did he wrote a letter okay so did he wrote a letter again not right so the correct question is going to be did he write a letter okay so the main verb is used in the infinitive form in questions and negative okay so when you're forming question so the verb is going to be in the infinitive form because you're using your did, okay? So you won't say did he wrote, uh, 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 okay? In your positive affirmative sentence, you will say I wrote a letter, okay? But when you're making your question, you will say did he write, okay? So infinitive verb is used, all right? So if you're making that mistake, mm -mm -mm, no more. Similarly, uh, when you're making your negative sentence also, this is very common, he didn't wrote a letter, okay? Very common mistake, very common mistake. Even when, you know, people come to advanced levels, uh, they still keep on saying that, okay? So if you are one of those, he didn't, and then you are using uh, the past form of the verb, please don't make that mistake. So he, uh, he didn't wrote a letter, he didn't write a letter, okay? So just like your questions um, in your past tenses, in, in your past tense, when you are making your negative sentence, then to, the verb is going to be the infinitive form, okay? So in your questions and in your negatives, 
infinitive form of the verb and then again sometimes people uh, like i said when you have uh, past tense so there are irregular verb as well which you have to remember so you know people often say oh he writer a letter yeah okay so as as you can understand that there's no such word as righted so write wrote written now this one is as you can see this is your irregular verb so then you will say he wrote a letter okay so some verbs are irregular people and uh, not not you know in, in all your past tenses you cannot just add ed to form the past form okay so like i said some are irregular and all you have to do with those irregular verb is practice okay so you'll just have to learn them there's no other simple way out okay so just learn them remember them use them and that's how it's going to get fixed in your brain okay so yes that's the only way to remember your irregular forms by learning them practicing them okay so he righted no such thing as righted he wrote a letter okay so these were a few tips for your past tense and if you're making those mistakes i am sure after today no more mistakes because you don't have uh, an excuse that i don't know okay because now you know and again if you have learned something if you will remember how to use your past tense correctly now you don't have to do much press the like button subscribe spread the word until we meet next time bye for now